starting off 2020 here, or starting off 2020, start off 2021. Um, what's your intention for the day, Dave? <clears throat> My intention, you know what? Um, I kicked 2020 in the butt yesterday and said goodbye. And uh, you know what? Go with a new outlook and a fresh new perspective. Uh, and my, my word for this year is going to be calm. Nice. Kevin. I like my, you know, kick off 2021 on the right foot. I'm looking forward to, you know, kicking butt with you guys all year long. So, um, and, and, you know, huge outcomes. So, um, wishing the best for you all. Let's get it Love going. it. Love it. Mr. Michael Brown. You know, it's really weird, Justin, but everyone says you get the most gains when it's the hardest times. Like, like to get the gains in the gym, you got to put in the hard effort. I thought about it last night, and 2020 was actually, part of my language, a fucking amazing year. Like, I would have never done kickboxing. I would have never had wrestling mats. I would have never spent so much time with my kids, and I honestly would have never met you guys. Like, the only reason all of that happened was from 2020, and I'm so grateful for it. It sucked in a lot of ways, but... My life got a lot better in, in other ways, and I look forward to build on that momentum in 2021. So thank you guys for being here. I love yeah. it. Love it. Let's get to 2021 here. Let's go get to get to the base of our mass. <sighs> great perspective, Michael. I like that. Let's reach up nice and high. Reach down nice and low. We're going to get right into a little flow here. Push up position. Hold right here. The month of January, guys, is going to be a real strength building phase. It's going to be a lot of eccentric work, a lot of ISO work, a lot of tempo work, not as much speed, but it's going to be blocked in a certain way in which we're going to focus on our conditioning at another, in another way. It's going to be unique. Love it. Drop down, upward dog. Tuck those toes underneath, drive the hips to the sky, downward dog. As we walk those hands back to the feet, grab that left foot with the right hand. Walk those hands back, reach down, grab the right, uh, take the right hand to the left foot, twist. Right from here, let's keep the hand up, kind of squat down, feel that stretch through the low back. You're going to feel it more on that left side. And walk it back down, push up position. Lock it right in, nice and strong. And upward dog. Drop those hips to the ground. Squeeze the glutes. Again, we're not crunching through the low back. We're squeezing the glutes and we're thinking about getting long and arching. So we should feel the spine nice and elongated. Tuck the toes underneath. Downward dog. Walk those calves out, walk the hands back to the feet. Take that left hand to the right foot. Twist open nice and high. And squat down. Good, nice tight pull. And stand it up. Good, nice and light. Drive those legs to the forward. Try and touch those toes with the hands. Nice and light here. Again, just working through those hamstrings. Nothing too exciting, nothing too violent, nothing too hard, just nice and flow. One more each side. Put the feet underneath those hips. We got 10 squats all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's take a big step forward. Let's hold this lunge position. Again, stretch up and over. Reach down, touch the toes, push back through the hamstrings. Reach up, reach over. Again, feel that deeper stretch through the hip flexor. Reach down, touch the ground, hamstring stretch. Reach up, reach over. Reach back, hamstring stretch. From here, both hands go to the ground. Push up position. We're gonna rotate, touch the sky with each hand in the opposite direction. Let's take the left hand up first, rotate, twist, back down, to the right, back down, to the left, back down, 
to the right, back down to the left, back down, last time, to the right, back down, walk the hands, back to the feet. Great, nice big step forward, right leg forward first. And hold, right here, nice and strong. Good, reach over with that left hand, get deeper stretch with that left hip flexor, Push that right knee out, grab on the floor with the right foot, push back hamstring stretch. Here we go, forward lunge, reach overhead. Push back hamstring stretch. Rotate over. Push back hamstring stretch. Two more. Push back, last one. Reach down, hamstring stretch, both hands touch the ground, push up position, ready and rotate to the left. Nice and high, good. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, push up position. We got five full range of motion push ups, all the way down, all the way up, nice and slow. Four seconds down, three, two, one, up, four, three, two, one, up, four, three, two, one, up, last one, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job, grabbing a weight. A little core work here. Sitting down. We're gonna go in a single arm, guys, okay, single arm. Hand right overhead, right to that sit up. We're gonna go five each side. As soon as we're done five each side, we're going into a side plank. Reach under, touch the foot behind us, touch the foot in front of us, back in. We're gonna do five each side. As soon as that's done, we're going left leg across the right. We can either pick this foot up off the ground or leave it down, your choice. Taking the left elbow to the right knee. Nice and slow, it'll be on me. Five each side. Let's get it set. Grabbing that weight, grabbing that dumbbell on our back. Five each side here. We got three rounds. Nice and quick. Ready. And here we go, up one. So the legs are straight. Two. Three. Four. Five, great job, switch. Ready here, and reach up. One, two, three, four, and five. Here we go, on our right side. Side plank, reach all the way under, reach all the way over. Left leg tap, forward, backwards, back at the beginning, under. Over, tap one, two, reach back under. Tap one, two, two more. Reach under, one, two, one, two, switch sides. Here we go, left side. Reach all the way under. Tap one, two, all the way under, over. One, two, reach under, one, two, all the way under, one, two, all the way under, one, and two. On our back, here we go. Left leg across the right. Left leg over the right. Lift that right leg up if you want to. Foot off the ground, make it a little bit tougher. Right elbow, left knee, and we get one, two, three, four, and five. Other side, here we go. Ready, and one, two, three, four, and five. Back to the beginning. In the right hand. Nice strong movements here. Squeeze through the lower abdominals and lift. One, two, three, four, and five, lock those heels into the ground. Pull the toes back towards the face, quads are strengthened, quads are turned on, ready? 
and begin. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. The harder we squeeze those quads, the more locked in we're going to be, the more isolated the lower abdominals are going to be. Ready here. Rotate under. Tap in front. Tap behind. That's one. Reach under. Tap one. Two is two. Reach under. One, two, three. Four. And five. Switch sides. Great job, guys. Reach under. One. And done. Two. Great work. Three. Four. Five. Onto our back. Left leg across the right. Lift that leg up and touch. One. Back down. Two. Three. Four. And five. Switch. Right across the left. And one. Two. Three, four, and five. Set three, and then we go. On our back. Drive it up. One, two, three. Keep those quads tight. Four, five. Switch sides. One. Two, three, four, and five. Great job. Here we go, right side. Reach under, over, one, two. 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 two more. Last time, switch sides. Here we go, reach under. Tap one, two, good. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, last one. One, two, great job. Right leg across the left. Last time, touch one. Two, three, four, and five. Switch sides. And one, two, three, four, and five. Great job, guys. Rest it out. All right. We are going to need a couple things. Given that we are focused on strength, this entire month of January. We're gonna be working on lower body and upper body strength. So I wanna be able to give a guide and a, uh, a feel for where we're at. Given that we're on, not in traditional gym settings where we can just continually keep adding weight, adding weight, adding weight, and being like, oh yeah, I'm lifting more weight, I feel better. We're gonna to have to get a little bit more creative and do things a little bit different. The way we do that is by reps with a set amount of weight for a given period of time. Similar to what we do with Fitness Test Saturday, but we're not going body weight, it's all gonna be weighted. So, we are gonna need something that's like a chair, something that's about hip height, okay? Something that when we squat, our butt is touching. For me, I'm gonna be using one of the medicine balls. I'm gonna be squatting to the medicine balls. Michael, you could squat to one of those logs. We could pull out a stool if that was there. And what I want you to do is, this is gonna sound arbitrary, but I want you to weight this as heavy as you can. If it's uh, 100 pounds in kettlebells, great. If it's 80 pounds, 40 pounds, 30 pounds in kettlebells, great. Whatever it is that you have. If it's kettlebells in a band over top of you, great. What I wanna do here is I wanna get down to that seat and touch it. That's gonna be our gauge. We're gonna squat down and up as many reps as we can with as much weight as we feel comfortable with for as many reps as we can, 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds. That's going to be our gauge. We're going to do it once. This is it. We're doing it once, and then we're not going to do it again until the end of January. What this is going to be is we're going to see our progression. We need to write our weight down. 
We need to write down how difficult we thought it was, RPE one to 10. Once we find this number, this is gonna be our baseline number that we are going to test at the end of January and see where we're at. I may throw one in in the middle, we might do it halfway through and then at the end, we'll see. This is what we're gonna start with. So 30 seconds, as heavy as we can, all the way down, all the way up, given that we're uh, given straight isolation and keeping it repeatable. As soon as that's done, we're going on our back, we're doing the exact same thing with a press. Okay, the exact same thing with a press. So be it as heavy a uh, dumbbell, kettlebell, uh, logs that we can. Elbows touch the ground, driving back up. Okay, 30 seconds, as many as we can. We're gonna write those down. Okay, get ourselves set. Oh, nice. <laughs> he, he's going to be getting heavier, Michael, so you're going to be lifting more weight anyways. Just get, wait, wait a second, Michael, you're going to fatigue out. There we go. I'll wait for Kevin to get back. We're going to go 30 seconds of presses, 30 seconds of squats. Squats first, first or squats first? Squats first, first yep. Squats first. We'll get ourselves set. All right, Kevin, you ready? Okay, taking ourselves all the way down to whatever implement we have. So we're setting ourselves up, touching our butt to it. So it's just touch and back up, touch and back up. Continuous as many reps as we can. Write down the approximate weight, write down the number of reps. Away we go, getting ready, we're going in five. Weights up, four, three, two, and begin. Here we go. That's it. Halfway. Rest. That's it. Great job, guys. Write that weight down. Write the number down. That's our baseline. Again, it all starts somewhere. Next, we're going into our back. We're going presses. Squats. Same concept, going into presses. Elbows touch the ground. 30 seconds, as many reps as we can. <laughs> going here in five. Three, two, one, and begin. And rest. Well done, guys. Looks like I'm going to Dick's Sporting Goods to buy some weights. I can't keep using the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Although it was fun. All right. Getting ourselves ready here, guys. First block. We're going to grab, again, something that's relatively heavy. We're either going to go dumbbells, kettlebells, a log, something of that nature. We're gonna go sumo stance, okay? So feet are wide, toes are out, all the way down, five, four, three, two, one, stand it back up. We're gonna go by 10 reps on me. So it's gonna be close to about 45-ish seconds, okay? From there, we're gonna drop the weight, gonna go jump squats by 10, 
We're gonna hold the tenth one at the bottom. Pulse for ten. We're gonna have thirty seconds rest in between. We got five sets. Getting ourselves ready. Weight set, implement set. Right here. Nice and low. And here we go, pull. Strong, scores back, four, three, two, one. Up, four, three, two, one. Up, four, three, two, one. Up, keep going, four, three, two, one. Up, don't bend at the hips, sit backwards. It's a squat-like motion in a sumo position. Four, three, two, one. One, up, four, three, two, one, up, last one, four, three, two, one, up, here we go, ten, jump squats, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold the bottom pulse, seven, six, three, two, one, one rest. In that sumo position, guys. It's not this, it's not an RDL. It's squatting downwards. Knees push out, hips go back. Going to 10. Four sets left. Ready here in three, two, one. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Up, 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 four, three, two, one. Six, four, three, two, one. Seven, four, three, two, one. Eight, four. Three, two, one. Nine, four, three, two, one. Ten. Jump squats. Here we go. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold the bottom. Pulse. Up and down. Little pulses. Feel it deep. And rest. Sit. Stay strong in it. Again, you feel it in those hips, nothing in the low back. When we get to the top, you don't arch in the low back. We keep the core locked down. Not arching, keep it locked. Going in five, two, one. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. 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 One, six, four, three, two, one, seven, four, three, two, one, good, four, three, two, one, nine, last one, four, three, two, one, great, ten, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, pulse. Here we go, quick. Moving through. And rest. Two sets left here, guys. 
Stay strong. Two sets left. Going in 10. Come in set four. You should feel this all in the glutes, right in that glute hamstring insertion point. Going in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good. Four, three, two, one. 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 Seven. Three, two, one. Eight. Four, three, two, one. Nine. Four, three, two, one. Ten. Good. Ten jumps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Come on, pulse that out. And rest. Yes, yes, yes. Last set here. You guys got this. Again, the harder we push those hips back, the harder we sit down, we want to be active all the time. The big secret about eccentric work, slow tempo downwards, is that we're thinking about pulling ourselves into it. We're not just sinking. Actively pull yourself into that squat. Last set in five. Three, two, one. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. One, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Last four, three, two, one, seven, four, three, two, one, eight, four, three, two, one, nine, four, three, two, one, ten. Yeah. Here we go, ten. Nine, ten. Pulse it out. Ah. Stay low. Sit low in this pulse. And rest. Awesome work. Grab a drink. Really well done. All right. Unmuting everybody. We're gonna get ready here. What's gonna happen? We're gonna grab those seats that we had. One leg at a time. So I will start. I will then go to Michael. I'll then go to Kevin. I'll then go to Dave. So that seat that we had, I want us to go into a single leg squat from here. We're gonna be standing up. We're gonna go five on the left. Soon as we are done five on the left, whatever we were holding, we're gonna hold by our side. We're gonna hold in a nice tall position. It's gonna to wanna to pull us this way. It's gonna challenge two things. One, hip flexor strength. Two, core strength. Three, grip strength. Four, balance. Okay, holding right here. It's the side that you're on. So if we're first round through, left leg's on the ground, single leg squat, down, oh, find my balance, stand it up. On the fifth one, I pick that up and I hold, okay? It's gonna go myself, Michael, Kevin, Dave, right back to me, I switch to the left side. We are gonna go three sets per leg, thus we're going through that rotation six times. That makes sense? You good? 
Awesome. Thumbs up all around. So getting ourselves ready. I'm going to start us off. Everybody else starting on the left leg, holding something in our side, holding up nice and high, 90 degrees with the leg, 90 degrees with the toe and ankle. Getting ourselves ready. We have three rounds each side. Getting ourselves set. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Michael. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Evan? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Dave. Dave. One, two, three, four, five. Justin. Left leg, or right leg, pardon me, switch. One. Two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Kev, guys. One, two, three. Four, five, Dave. One, two, three, four, five. Justin, rest. Got 20 seconds here. Hey, what's the proper yeah. technique on this, Justin? Yeah, absolutely. So what's going to happen is you're going to hold with a kettlebell. You're going to hold the dumbbell, whatever at your chest. That one leg that is down is gripping the floor. The other leg is lifted. It can be right in front of you. It can be just a centimeter off the ground. Doesn't matter to me. Might go with the ankle weights. It'll probably be easier to have a little bit lower. You're gonna stand right up, press through the glute of the leg that's down. The leg that's down never moves, okay? As soon as that fifth rep is done, that weight comes from your chest right down to your side. You lift to 90 and 90 through the hip and ankle, okay, and we hold. So that's what it looks like. Getting ready, back on our left side. If we need to, Michael, drop the dumbbell or drop the kettlebell and just go with the weight, uh, weight vest to stand and then pick the dumbbell up or kettlebell up with the hold. All right, I'll give it a shot. Ready here. Thank you. And begin. One, two, three, four. Five. One. Sit. Two. Three. Four. Five. Kevin, you're up. Everybody standing tall. Chest is big. Don't lean to one side. Two. Three. Four. Five, One, two, three, four, five. Justin? That's it. Back to that right leg, guys. Holding. One, two, three, four, ah. Five. Here we go, Michael. One, two, uh, three, four, five. Kevin. Kevin. Come on. Come on, guys. Keep this up. Three, four, five. 
five. Okay, hey. hey, last five. We get a little breather. One, two, three, four, five. Rest. 20 seconds. We're going back to that left leg. Last set here. Going to 10. Left leg stays down. Again, when we're in that tall position, the dumbbells on our side. I don't want to see this. We don't want to arc. Stay tall. Ready here in three, two, one. Left leg first. Here it is. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Great work. Seven. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five. David. Two, three, four, five. Justin. Up, guys. Here we go. Right side. Last time. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. One, two, three, four. Five, seven. Love it, guys. Stick with this. Two, three, four, five. Eight. Last five here. Keep holding. One, two, three, four. Five. Yes. Rest. The man, Dave. <laughs> Love that. My left leg's a whole lot stronger than my right leg. I just fig figured that out. Mine's the other way. I had my right leg easy. Left leg couldn't do it. Yeah, left right. leg's okay. Right leg, I struggled. We're all going to have dominant sides. That's where a lot of this single leg action, we really want to go for form. We want to go and challenge ourselves. We have to drop weight to get the work done right. Then that's what we do. Because what's going to happen is as we get stronger single unilaterally with a single leg, it is going to help us when we go back to the bilateral aspect. So we're, a lot of what you're going to see here over the next month when we're doing lower body is single leg, tempo. If we're doing double leg stuff, it's going to be in different patterns. So just get more comfortable with that. Be okay adding or subtracting weight. Don't want to just be okay sticking with the same weight over and over and over again. We really want to change the stimulus here. Okay. <laughs> Getting onto our back. It's going to be the same type of pattern where we're going to be working with it together. Everybody's unmuted. We're going to be grabbing a stability ball, a medicine ball, anything circular. If we don't have anything like that, let me know, because I'll give us an alteration. So when it's your turn, you're going to be going five hamstring curls, right from five hamstring curls, five hip extensions with your feet elevated. As soon as you are done, you're just holding this position. If we don't have anything with the ball, we're putting our hips high, walking our legs out to just above straight, walking them back in, out, and back in is one. Then we're going right into hip extension for five. So the same concept, five hip, uh, hamstring curl. Stability ball from stopping cart. Say that again. Oh, sorry, I didn't know what I was telling Alexa to buy a stability ball. Oh, <laughs> um, right into hamstring curls for five, hip extension for five. We're going through this, no rest, five sets. Okay, it is going to burn the hamstrings very, 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 very badly 
Do not let it feel it in the low back. If you are, drop the hips a little bit. It means that you're driving through the low back. Okay, so let's get set here. Same order, myself, Michael, Kevin, Dave. Five sets, five reps at each. Everyone else is holding. Hip extension, everybody up, and begin. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Michael. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Dave. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Justin. Set two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, Michael. Whew. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Kevin. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hey, guys. Come One, on. two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five, Justin. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Kevin. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Dave. One. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Justin. That's it, guys. Here we go. Set four. As we squeeze those glutes, think you got a $100 bill in them. Don't let that guy pull it out. Or we all have that friend, Jimmy, who wants to throw his thumb up your butt. What? Squeeze those glutes. Don't let him go. I don't like your friend, Jimmy. Michael, let's go. One, $100 two, bill. Don't let three, it move. Four. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Kevin. Squeeze those glutes. Come on. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Dave. Come on, battle it out. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Justin. Last set here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, Three, four, five. That hundred dollar bill is yours, guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Kevin, stay away from John. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Dave. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. And rest. Oh. Great job, guys. We're going back in. We're going to go three sets this time. Three sets. Or sorry, two sets. Two sets because we're going to go to each side. So it's going to be left leg only. Five reps. Five single leg. Going back to a two-legged hold. So the actual work that we're doing is single leg. The holds are still the double leg. Two sets each side, that means total of four. So left leg, hamstring curl, left leg, hip extension. Back to our two-legged holds. We're gonna go through the left leg, through the right leg, through the left leg, through the right leg. Getting ourselves ready. I'll start us off. Left leg, and begin. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, Four, five, Michael. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Kevin. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Dave. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, 
three, four, five. Justin. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Kevin. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Dave. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Justin. Okay, hey guys. One, two, three, four, five. Left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Kevin. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Dave. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Justin. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last time through. Come on, guys. Turn. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Dave. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, stand it up. Lower body is torched. Well done. I love, as I was scrolling through Instagram, as I tend to do on uh, for about 10 minutes as I wake up, it's amazing to see how we get, we, we are still in this culture of even, and, and it's, it's this lack of awareness where we're in this culture of, people posting about their new year's resolutions, people posting about the changes they're going to make about people posting about how bad 2020 was and that 2021 is their year. But if no actions are taken, if no clarity is made, it goes back to the same thing over and over and over again. And it goes back to what we talked about before where if I, there was this meme that came out and actually was on a podcast, I was talking to somebody and um, they had said, 2021 is going to be full of flowers. And the guy goes, well, how do you know? <laughs> There's so much going on. He goes, because I'm planting flowers. And it all comes back to what our focus is. It all comes back to what we're looking at. 2020 was a tough year for a lot of people. I get it. But at the same time, there was also a lot of good that came out of it. and it taught us a lot. It was a learning experience. And if we don't allow how hard we work to get out of something like that to go to waste, because the lessons learned will only be memories and lessons learned if we do not apply them, if we choose not to apply them. 2021 is, a, is or 2020 is the year of learning, the year of lessons, the year of adapting. 2021 is the year of applying, taking what we learned and applying it to our lives so that we can so that 2020 was not for, for nothing, that there's massive, massive good that will come out of it. And why did it happen? Who knows? Is there a reason for it? A hundred percent. And we'll figure it out at some point. And a lot of us have already started to figure out some of why things have happened, but it's all about the mindset and how we show up, how we look at things and the actions in which we take and apply the lessons that we learn. So great start to 2021. Dave, how are we feeling? 
feel good. I feel really great. I'm I'm looking forward to this year and stuff and working out with everybody and and uh, you know what? I'm planting flowers, even though they're not going to grow right away in Canada's snow. Good. I'm planting flowers, man. <laughs> right on, right on, Michael. You know, when I met you and Dave, you were spouting about seasons. It's all you talked about the first month I met you. Was seasons, seasons, seasons. And now I realize how right you were, Justin. We were just in the winter. And in the winter, everything looks dead. But you don't go cut it down. Right? You don't cut the tree down because the leaves are off. You give it some more water, nurture, and some planting, and it gets really beautiful in the spring. So I'm looking forward to 2021 of spring and building on what we did in 2020. So thank you. Amen. Amen. A little bit of patience, a little bit of clarity goes a long way. Mr. Kevin. Hey, yeah, I want to, uh, I want to echo what Michael said earlier on, like, uh, 2020 didn't happen. I wouldn't have met you guys. I've been, uh, reinvesting in my health and my well being and my family time and, um, trying to figure out really where I want to be in life and in work. So everything you said resonates with me. Certainly appreciate you appreciate this team and uh, looking forward to a great 21. Awesome guys. Awesome. And on top of that, uh, I'm adding in, I think everyone saw that call on uh, every second Monday. So I'm going to send an invite. There'll be about, about 90 people on the invite. Um, people come and go, uh, people hop on when they have questions. But the reason for that call is really to help people dive into uh, the, the habits and the application of things. It's not just about showing up four days a week. It's about how do we make this into a lifestyle? What are we, what are we looking at with our wearables? What does, how can we take the data we see and implement it to our sleep? What does HRV mean? What does resting heart rate mean? What does strain mean? Um, if we're using Apple watches or other wearables, what, uh, are, what numbers are we looking at? How do we quantify them? How does it apply to uh, the exercise we're doing? How does it apply to our stress management? How does it apply to our immune function? How does it apply to our nutrition, hydration? All of these things that we'll be able to learn. And the goal of these is to be super interactive, to have people come in with questions. If you only want to get on when you have questions, no problem. If you want to come in and learn the first five, 10 minutes of what I'm teaching or talking about for the day and then ask your question and hop off, awesome. If you want to come for the last 10 minutes to hear, perfect. It's literally meant to be very interactive and be a resource that will help drive habits um, and, uh, and really education and application um, uh, for this year. So that's the, uh, that's the goods. Sounds great. Don't forget you guys. Saturday morning kickboxing. Love it. I'll send uh, another memo out. Have a great day guys. And uh, we will see you all tomorrow morning. Good morning. Have a good day guys. Bye.